is NaNoWriMo Day 7. Today's word count goal is 11,667 words. My word count is at 11,058 words. I'm quite proud of myself for having been less behind this year than I have been in past years. In past years, I would be nowhere near today's goal. I've somehow managed to keep up throughout the madness of college and work, and I'm, I'm gonna pat myself on the back for that. I haven't written yet for today. I have no doubt that I'll be able to write 600 more words, for but I kind of miss being really ahead. I kind of feel like I'm limping on track always instead of, you know, like running ahead. And I guess being on track is a lot better than not, but I'd like to be ahead just because I don't know what's gonna happen in the madness of school and work and life. So much life. I wish, like, there was this thing where we can, like, translate the way we imagine our novels, like, the cinematics happening up here onto the page, like, over there. Anyhow, week two is coming up, and it's notorious for being a very hard week. And I think that by going into week two with this mindset that it's gonna be hard and you have so much more ahead of you than you do behind you isn't very helpful. Because yes, week two is difficult and it's draining, but it's even more difficult and draining when your mind is telling you that you can't do it. And I'm here to tell you that you can. You can do it. You have reasons to keep going. One of them, the biggest one, is that you love this story and you may not feel love for it right now. You might feel the very opposite of love, like hate, and you want to burn it and sit on it and wipe your butt with it. At one point, something called you to this story. Something made you fall in love with the story and decide, yes, I'm going to write this. You may not think you love the story anymore, but I'm sure if you look deep inside yourself, you really do love the story and you're passionate about what you have to say. Find that reason that you love the story. Your reason could be as superficial as the fun times and the friendships in your story, or they can be as deep as the concepts and metaphors and themes you're laying out. Another reason to keep going in week two is that if you're watching this, chances are that you've written at least one word during week one. So in week two, when things get hard, are you going to let all those hours upon hours you spent in week one writing go to waste? Maybe the third reason the thought of week two overwhelms you is because you hate what you've written and you just want to sit there with a rock on your backspace button, remember that this is a first draft and so many things will change. If the reason you hate what you're writing is because you just don't feel connected to the idea, alter it in a way that will allow you to enjoy writing the story. It can change as much as you need it to, as much as it takes to reach your goal for this month. And at the end of November, you can have a beautiful, printed out stack of paper of your manuscript. Oh, I've never been able to print out a whole finished manuscript. That's my goal for this November, to do that for the very first time, to finish a novel and say, look at all the pretty words I wrote. Look at them. This is a hand. It's not my book because I haven't done it yet. I need to write. I want to be able to feel the weight of my novel child in my arms after I birthed it into the world, but labor is a month-long process. Not human labor, because two very different things. Well, not really, you're creating in both senses, but... I don't need a co-author to give birth to a book, but I need a co-author to give birth to a child. I am rambling. One of the biggest most important things to remember this coming week too 
is that you're a writer, and this is what you do. You write past the difficult scenes and the difficult times. You love writing. And if you don't, I don't know why you're doing National Novel Writing Month. That is beyond me. But chances are, you're doing this because you love writing. And you want that first draft. And you want to be able to say, I wrote a book. Anyway, that was an update, and good luck this coming week, and congratulations on whatever you've done in week one. Even if you're behind, congratulations to you too, because it takes bravery and courage to set out and write a novel.